Hello, welcome to my channel. Ellery here. I am continuing my rainbow series. Um, obviously if you guys have subscribed and have been watching my videos, which would be great. <laughs> I've already done an all red eye look, an all orange eye look, and now I am doing an all yellow eye look, obviously. You know, I really only use two things for this look, but you will see if you continue to watch. First, make sure you guys are subscribed. Uh, give me a second to do that. And you follow me on my social media so you guys can, um, I don't know, be my friend. Maybe? No? Okay. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna get into this easy eye look. So you already see what the final look is over here. I really tried to make these looks wearable and simple with a smidge of edge. Like, that was my goal. Like, all one color, wearable look, not too gimmicky, but you know, with a little pizzazz on it as well. So, this is all I got for you for this one. I've never worn all yellow on my eyes before. And, um, it's not my favorite of the Rainbow series, but not too bad either. I really think the eyelashes really helped help this look out. To get started, I use Kat Von D's White Out Lock It Concealer Cream, all white. I really wanted to use a yellow base, but I couldn't find any yellow eyeliners, and I'm pretty sure I gave them all away, because I probably got them thinking I ain't never gonna use no yellow uh, eye pencil. And now, you know, they're, they're not there when I need them. And so I had to resort to the old handy dandy white to make the color really pop. However, I didn't want this all over my eye, so I just kind of concentrated on the lid. So the star of this yellow look is called Buttercup Cake. It is from Sugar Pill Cosmetics, and it's just a true yellow matte eyeshadow. But you know, Sugar Pill does pretty well on pigment, just like I used in the uh, all red look. So I just doubled back with yellow. And I pretty put like 19.5 layers of this on my lid to really, really make it pop. Like, y'all think I'm exaggerating, but I went over and over this color until it was nice and bright yellow. That's why you wanna make sure your base is really even so that when you pack it on, the color applies nice, bright, and even as well. So as you can see, the first layer is a little light, but the more you pack on, the more vibrant it gets. All right, once I got it nice and bright, I grabbed a blending brush, just a clean one, and swept it through the crease. Then I grabbed Fenty Beauty's Trophy Wife, and I lightly tapped this all over my lid. I did want a little bit of the shimmery effect in my crease, which obviously I don't normally do. People usually keep mattes in the crease, but sometimes it's okay, get a little glitter in there, a little bit. Instead of going back into the yellow, because I didn't want my eye to look too ashy, I went into Huda Beauty's Coral Obsessions palette, this one right here, and I grabbed this little mustard yellow down here. You're not really gonna see this apply, but I just used this small taper blending brush and dabbed it into that color and swirled it around in my crease to kind of mix in the shimmer from the highlighter with this little mustard color. I'm also going to put the same mustard color on my lower lash line. On the any any corner and kind of a little bit right here, I'm gonna go back with the Trophy Wife and add that just so it connects with the top. Probably should have did my eyes first, you know, but I thought I was gonna have it under control. All right, and finally for the liner, I'm just putting black pencil carefully on my lower waterline. This is Urban Decay's Perversion Pencil. And using my CoverGirl 320 Matte Black Liner, I mean, you can just do regular liner, but I kept a little gap in between mine. I'll show you how I did it, but you know, I was just being extra. You really don't have to do that. I didn't even plan on doing it. I was just like, hmm, it's that a little zhuzh. I pretty much just glided the top liner as I do regularly, but went a little bit higher and did the same thing at the bottom, making the liner much thinner and leaving some space in between the two.
And lastly, I just need to add my lashes and mascara. I'm cleaning off my real lashes first because they dusty. The lashes I'm using are called Ego. They are from a brand called Urban Upscale Lux. And I had to apply these super slow and carefully so I didn't close that little cap. And finally for my mascara, I'm using Wet n Wild's Megalint, staying directly on my lashes. Now clearly, I'm not gonna put on no yellow lipstick, like this is supposed to be wearable. So I'm just gonna do my um, current fave nude lip combination. It includes Netta and Stilo from my ColourPop collab and a brown liner. It usually always alternates because I always get jacked for my brown liners. Um, so I just had to go find this one which is called BFF3. This is from the Bretman ColourPop collab. And here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this all yellow eye look makeup tutorial. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments and give me a big old thumbs up. Next color in this rainbow series is gonna be green. So, um, yeah, should be interesting. Make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for that. But until next time, love ya. Mwah.